Welcome back to Keys of Product Creation Success. And in this video, we are going to talk about the 12 points of copywriting. And when you get ready to either have someone write your copy or you start to write it yourself, there are some things you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your copy has in them. And of course, all these things are gonna be adaptable to your product in terms of what it's going to be. But if you're just starting out, you want to use this as a checklist. If you have written your own copy, make sure that you have these elements. Now, the first point and the first thing that every, uh, every copywriter must have is that they must have a line in there to get attention. We call this the headline. And the headline is really something designed to grab the throat of your buyer and to really shake them and to really uh, shock them into paying attention. It says, look here, uh, take a look. You've got to pay attention because what we have to share with you is going to be vital. And so getting people's attention is what the headline is all about. Now, the, the next thing, of course, what you need to do, and some marketers call this the, the, the story or the explanation, but you know there, sh there needs to be a section in there where you identify the problem. And basically what you're trying to do with your customer is you're trying to let them know that you get them, right? You, you understand what they're going through. And what some marketers say is that if you can describe the customer's problem, you know, better than they can describe it themselves, then you'll have them. You'll have them in the copy. They'll be paying attention and they'll continue to move down the page. Now, the next thing you want to do at some point is you want to provide the solution. So what is it that they need? What is it that they um, are going to get? And this is where you will reveal that your problem, your product is the solution. Your product will really give them the ability to overcome that problem that you have identified, that you have described after you've talked about it in the headline. Now, the other thing you'll want to do is to present your credentials. And, you know, what makes you, uh, you know, what, what is it that gives you the right to define the solution to this problem? Is it that you've gone through the problem before? Is it that you've got experience um, in, in deciphering these things? Is it because you have, uh, you've achieved some level of success in this area? <laughs> Present at this point your credentials, and then what you want to do is start talking about the benefits. What's the, what are the benefits of your solution? And we're not talking about what your product has, not even what it does. We're talking about what it does for me, right? What does it do for me? What what does it give me? And we're not if if you're if you're talking about the product in particular, and you're talking about the the things that you know, I get to do with it, you're probably not talking about the benefit. If you're talking about an area that, you know, is going to have my life change in some way, you're talking about the benefits. So, so think about things in the way of how they benefit, not so much the features of the product. You want to give uh, both proof and social proof. Now, the difference between proof and social proof is that social proof is that other people have had some experience. They have uh, had a, have experience with your product and they've been able to overcome that problem with it. Um, proof is that uh, you have research that your solution works, right? It's scientific. It is something that, you know, is almost guaranteed to work because uh, there because the process is something that really just basically solves the solution. You want to make an offer. So in other words, you want to make sure that you tell people, right? You tell people what it is that you are going to give them. You tell people your value proposition. You show them what it is that they're getting um, in exchange for uh, what they're going to be paying you. What you have to do when you make your offer is you have to make the, the, uh, the, the, the value of the product as big as you can and the price as small as you can. Um, the, the other thing is you want to do is to make sure you're giving a guarantee, Right? What what are you guaranteeing? Thirty days, sixty days? Are you guaranteeing that they're going to have uh, absolute satisfaction, or you give them their money back? Um, you need to make sure you have a guarantee. You should inject scarcity. So, in other words, you want to make sure that the scarcity is either time based, or maybe the scarcity is quantity based. But in some way, shape, or form, they can't wait indefinitely to buy this product. They cannot. Uh, they cannot count on it being here uh, three weeks from now, four weeks from now, a week, a month from now. They need to buy now. Inject scarcity because um, you want to make sure that they know that that there's going to be a limitation. 
call to action. This is where you must tell them what to do. In other words, you must tell them to, to go to the buy button. You must tell them to click to click to the next page. You must tell them to take action now. A call to action. And then you must also give a warning. And this really harkens back to scarcity. This says that if they don't act, right, it could be that they're going to remain the same that they're, they've, they've been before. That they're not going to get their problem solved. They're not going to overcome um, what it is that they really overcome. You have to give them a warning. And then you want to close with a reminder. You remind, their of the, remind them of the value they're getting for the money they're paying. Remind them of the benefits that they're going to receive. Now, when you, when you go through these 12 points, <clears throat> you'll notice that there is a link there to David Fry's 12-point uh, copywriting. This is the classic, uh, the classic system that marketers tend to use. Now, of course, they alter it uh, for their particular product, and you want to look at various sales letters to see how these 12 points are used, but you do want to make sure that these 12 points are in your copy. Okay, so uh, check out the link there uh, to David Fry's website and go over that 12 points. Use this again as a checklist so that your copy will be complete in terms of having all the elements that you need in order to convince your buyer that your product is what they need. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.